Now guys, now that we're on the topic of serious issues, mm -hmm, there's something serious that I need to address. Um, it's affecting me right now um, a lot and it's affecting my ability to go about my day today. The serious issue is... My body is seriously hurting. Oh my gosh. This arm, I can't lift it. It hurts. Oh my gosh. I think it might be injured. I hope not. But I'm not going to be going to CrossFit or the gym for a while till this heals. Oh, 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 my whole body's hurting. Man, CrossFit's a killer. It hurts so much. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. Yes. With the bird, walking as Beep. usual. And the other day I tried to catch some wildlife um, for a particular something. Well, out here again to try my luck. Hopefully we can bag something or Tupperware something. <laughs> Rather. That's the guys. You enjoying this sunlight? Hmm? She loves these walks. Looks forward to them every day. She flies to me as soon as I pull out this harness. She bows her head as soon as she sees me holding it. I'm about to put it on her. She just loves it. Guys, look at Ligaya's eyes right now. I don't know if you can see that, but Ligaya, show them your eyes. They are so gray in the light. <gasps> You're a big bird now. <laughs> I miss your dark eyes, but your gray eyes are looking really cool. Your elven eyes, my dragon, my elven dragon. By the way guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. If you enjoyed this vlog, if you feel it's right, join the family will be your daily dose of positive vibes. Mm -hmm. Legaya here, she's an African gray parrot. I've raised her since she was a chick and she's such a delight to be with. Your star, the guys. So, um, if you're new to the world of parrots and African greys, as chicks they have black eyes, like really dark black beady eyes. And then as they mature, the eyes become like light grey, this beautiful light grey with a black pupil inside, very piercing. And then it starts to yellow out the older they get. Apparently, these birds can live up to their 70s. I don't know, but I, but I heard in captivity, they usually live between 25 to 50 years. That's incredible. That's crazy, Ligaya. Like, even if you hit your 20s, Ligaya, that will trip me out. Seriously. Like, I'll be a senior citizen by then. Ligaya knows this is her spot. This is your guava tree. She knows. I wonder if you can fly up there. You're gonna fly up there? Go. Fly. Go up. Go, go, go. What, you're gonna try to climb the tree? I'd love to see that. Go. Climb. I don't think you can, can you? Go try. She's trying to figure it out. It's very smooth, I know. Hold on, wait. Let me put down my stuff. Here. Go, pop. Go, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Fly. Go, go, go. Go fly, Ligaya. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I wonder if she's gonna do it. Fly. It's just right there. Go ahead. Ah. Oh, she's gonna beak it. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Good girl. Good girl. Whoops. Now that's some core muscle action, seriously. Okay, Ligaya. It's time to go. Ready to go? You're liking it up there, I know, but it is time to move on. I gotta look for some wildlife, you know what I'm saying? I gotta pull some crocodile hunters. OMG guys, you won't believe what I managed to catch. Mm-hmm. Success! You guys will find out very, very soon. Perhaps on a particular channel that deals with nature and creatures. Mm-hmm. Look out for that. Successfully, guys, we did it. Guys, can I just say, I am so honored to have hair right now. <laughs> I like look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, hair. You know, 
I've been shaved for 18 or 15 years, something like that. Shaved clean, did it myself for years. Um, but now that I've decided to grow it for 2019 as a hair growth challenge, I am so happy. Cause you know, I used to have dreams that I had hair and I would brush it and comb it and shampoo it. And you know, I'd wake up with bed head and then I would wake up and realize it was a dream and I would feel sad. Like, oh, I miss having hair. But now, I actually do have bed head. <laughs> and I like it, and it's so new, it's so different. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I had plastic surgery or something, and I'm happy with the results. You know what I'm saying? I look like my dad. <gasps> OMG! Guys, you know what I just remembered? This is so bad of me to forget. Uh, <gasps> in a few hours, my family will be at the airport in Toronto. To come here! Onji! Onji! My family will be here soon. Wow. <gasps> Onji! Mabu High Squad, if you're new to the vlogs, I can't wait for you guys to meet my family from Canada, where I grew up. Toronto. Torontonians. My mom, my dad, my brother, they are coming here. They're spending a whole month and a half in this side of the world. That is awesome. Yay! Onji! Beware, guys, of my dad's joke of the day. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> okay, maybe some of them are funny sometimes. I can't wait for you to meet my family, Ligaya, for the first time. This is like, Omji, oh, this is like showing my parents my child for the first time. You're gonna meet your, your uncle and like grandparents, the guys. This is monumental. Seriously. <laughs> Thanks for wiping some corn on my, on my face. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Guys, Legaya is literally bananas for bananas. <laughs> I've never seen you eating so much banana in my life. I am so happy. So we can add this to the, your list of favorite foods, huh? Corn and now bananas. Hmm. Good, good. Good girl. I love that you're weaned. Oh, such a beautiful process. I was worried you would never be weaned. Bananas are high in potassium. You need it for energy. Cellular respiration. Grade nine science. <laughs> Look at you using the rope. Someone's no longer afraid. <laughs> <laughs> She's learned to use the rope, Mabuhai squad. She used to be so afraid of that, remember? Just a couple of days ago. <laughs> yes, you're a quick learner. The guy, seriously, such a quick learner. Yes, and you want scratches. I get it, I get it. This is her playing with me now. You're such a playful parrot. Play, play, play. All day long. Scratch, scratch, scratch. All day long. All right, guys, so now that I have the critters, mm -hmm. um, I'm here at a special place um, to buy some materials for my special project. Mm -hmm. And this place is the Philippine version of Home Depot. Yes, lots of home products. Uh, you know, in Toronto, Canada, I used to love walking through Home Depot. Like if you're a pet owner or aquarium owner or like terrarium builder, Home Depot is a playground, seriously. And guys, this is the Filipino version, Home Depot. Ooh, look at all these materials. <gasps> it makes me excited, Mabu High Squad, to finally move into our house. I'm probably going to have to get a designer to design the inside of the house. Like Dennis is already designing a lot of it, but like interior design is something else. Like, you know, choosing the furniture and even things like drapes and stuff, right? Wow, imagine this bathtub. Ooh, love it. Look at how gorgeous that rock looks. <gasps> so nice. Some of the outside of our Mabuhai Squad farm home will be rock imported from Abra. I think it'll be round river stones like this. But look at how nice that looks. Imagine the back of the aviary is this kind of rock. Wow. Awesome. Like this. Look at those river stones. Beautiful river rock. Look at these awesome tiles, guys. Those birds. Look at that. Look at that. Butterflies. Seriously. Awesome. 
OMG, Mobile High Squad, did you see that last vlog where we met up with Dennis? See that jacuzzi? Oh, I can't wait to be sitting in my own jacuzzi. <laughs> That'll be awesome. OMG, look at how big this place is, guys. Oh, amazing. Oh, look at this bathtub. Wow. Oh my god, this is what I want. An intelligent toilet with all these different buttons to do everything in life. Oh, there's just it just never ends. Look at this. Huge bathtub. Big bathtub with a seat. I'm really gonna have so much fun choosing this kind of stuff when the house is built. And now that my parents are coming, I get to ask their input as well. Ooh. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. There's even a TV right there. I could I never have to leave. OMG, look at these lights. I'm blinded by the light. Guys, my secret to great terrariums. Ew, not that I'm saying my terrariums are great, but two nice looking terrariums is choosing the right lighting. Like lighting should be nice and bright. Well, in most cases. We have friends here. Hi, what are your names? Hello, I'm Ernie. Yes. Rodel. We were taking pictures. Be sure to tag me. Yes, sir. Okay, bye. So I'm having some troubles trying to find simple things that normally you would find, say, in Canada. For example, something like this. See, like a frame with a screen. I'm trying to make a tank, a terrarium cover with a mesh. Now, that's so easy to do in Canada. You just go to like Home Depot and then there's like a frame, window frame making kit. Like when you create screens for windows, it's so easy. You have everything you need in this kit. But here, you can't do that. You literally have to make it. Like you gotta make your frame out of wood or metal and then like find a way to bind the mesh onto it. There is no like screen making kit here. Which surprises me. I guess screens, like window screens, are not really a popular thing. And for those who do use these window screens, I guess it's important. Interesting. Like, don't tell me I gotta buy this whole door to get this little window screen to put on the top of my tank. That's gonna be one expensive terrarium top. Alright guys, couldn't find what I needed, but I did buy a lamp, which I need. But uh, still cool. I love going through Home Depot. Lots of cool stuff. Alright. Mobile High Squad. So, what I managed to catch today is in this container. Oh, movement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. <gasps> Poked holes on the top there, see? It absolutely needs a cover because oh, otherwise there would be a scapage happening and I don't want that. Uh, but very spacious living space um, and soon even more living space in a bit. Oh, but these, interesting, interesting creatures i swear in fact i used to keep what is in this container um as as a kid mm. these ones in particular have an interesting smell but you guys will soon find out can you guess what's in this container huh 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 leave your guesses in the comments now i always gotta make sure when touching creatures like that which is inside the tupperware to wash my hands um before touching the bird even before eating and all of that um, because it can be dangerous. I also got to keep the bird far away from the critter um, because it's dangerous to her. Mm -hmm. It's currently living in there and soon it will be living in the ant room. Now because they didn't have a window screen frame kit, I'm just resolving to use some glass. See, um, the light will cover part of the top of this tank and this little area will be enough for air to get in. Um, and I'm pretty sure the creature will not be able to jump out from here. Mm -hmm. I really hope this creature likes its new home. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I've got all the slices of banana ready for the beetles that um, have emerged so far. Yes, see that? Now, I also have to put weights at the top of these beetle chambers because they can literally lift the lids and crawl out. One of the beetles was actually out of the container. Um, I came in and it was just hanging off the edge outside of the container. I freaked out, had to put her back, but now I place weights on here so that they can't escape. They're very strong, these beetles. How you doing, my beautiful goddess? 
Azula. Yes, she repaired that web very nice and quick. Now for those of you who watch the ant channel, this here, <laughs> this is the bobbleheads. Big headed ants. Yes, they're eating roaches right now. Mm-hmm. I love watching them. They eat so much, this colony. This here is an open concept ant farm. No glass. They can't climb out because it's got a baby powdered glass wall to keep the ants on the island. And they cross back and forth between the two islands. Um, soon, this open concept ant farm will need to expand. I'll need to create another island. They're quickly outgrowing these two islands. My dream for this open concept setup, which by the way, is called Island of Avista, is for Avista to be an archipelago of, of islands, of connected islands. So like, especially when we move to the Mabu High Squad home, the new home, and it's finished built, my dreams for a vista are to make it a table long setup of all of these like islands like an archipelago that'll be so cool right and these ants just travel back and forth see that they cross the island and they don't fall off surprisingly such a little mini society love it it's like the golden gate bridge except for ants <laughs> And I love how this tree ties into everything. Okay, if you guys are AC family, you already know this, but this tree depends on the ants. Why? Because the ants poo and <laughs> they also leave their garbage behind in the soil and the tree eats that. It, like it's fertilized by the ant poo and ant garbage. And the tree also hosts a colony of plant insects called mealybugs and then the ants tend these mealybug colonies and drink a sweet secretion that they excrete called honeydew. So they they farm um, these awesome little plant insects, these mealybugs. Uh, and so there's a symbiotic relationship between the mealybugs, this tree, and the ants. It's really a fantastic, cool, cool arrangement that, um, you know, I've felt honored to be able to film for the Ants Canada channel. Here, of course, are the Dark Knights. Yes, see them? I rarely do videos on them because there's nothing eventful. I mean, it would be like a five minute video. That Nothing's changed. They've, they're just so reliable. Problem free ant colony, I swear. And what's cool about the Dark Knights, by the way, is that they're called Black Crazy Ants. And what they can do is they're able to inbreed without inbreeding, like without technically inbreeding. What happens is the mom, the queen, gives birth to sons that are exact clones of males that she's mated with in the past. And her daughters are exact clones of herself. So technically, sibling queens and like males can mate together and it's not inbreeding. So in effect, a colony can last forever in an enclosed setup. If, as long as you keep feeding them, giving them water, giving them everything they need in space, the colony will live forever. It will never die out. Here, of course, is the Salva de Fuego. Fire ants living in that soil portion there. But guys, I love looking down here. There are so many baby shrimp. Okay, so there's a yellow shrimp, right? But if, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look carefully, there are tiny, tiny shrimp grazing on this very healthy java moss. I love it. It's so therapeutic watching these shrimp do their thing and eat. The shrimps are different colors. They're red, they're yellow, they're orange. See that? They're breeding very well in here. They love the Salva de Fuego. The Salva de Fuego, by the way, this entire paludarium has a river system. Water goes in through here, down to the filter, down there, pumped right back through the back, through here, and out this waterfall, down here. It oxygenates the water very well. See, you got plants growing in the water and everything. Oh, love this setup. And then the water just cycles. Um, there used to be an automatic rain system, but that broke down. I brought it back to the store and they're gonna replace it. One of my favorite setups of all time, my ant setups. Now guys, I could do all of this nerd stuff all day and take you guys around all day. I rarely do an in-depth vlog of like the inside of the ant room. So there you are, all you Mabuhay squad and all you AC family who are watching. Guys, also be sure to catch this week's Ants Canada video, which is uploading today, the day this vlog uploads. I think one hour after it uploads. So go after this vlog, go watch the Ants Canada video. Go, go, go. It took days to make. All right, guys. So for this entire vlog, if you're still watching, thank you. Um, you've probably been wondering what it is 
that I caught that is part of this entire project. I think you guys know by now it has to do with the Ants Canada channel. Um, this new critter will have a purpose in the Antiverse. Mm -hmm. And um, well, if you want to know what this critter is, Mabu High Squad, the new critter that I caught is